today's privy view. Yeah, not bad. Good morning, everybody. Day 36, February 5th. I had to look at that. February 5th, day 36. Um, stayed at the shelter last night with uh, Joe, section hiker, and his uh, black lab. Um, A feral cat just ran across the trail down there. There's a local little uh, feral cat, I guess, running around here. Joe was telling us about it. I just saw it running down the trail. Down at the end, way down at the end of that trail. But anyway, um, <clears throat> didn't get as cold, but it was really windy. So with the wind, we decided to, at least I did, to stay in the shelter. Um, Whenever there's high winds or heavy rains, I like to stay in a shelter. And with the dog, no mice. No anything, really. Um, <clears throat> big black lab. But anyway, um, today's plan is to... We're going to go about six and a half-ish miles to the first shelter, take a break, probably have lunch there, and then push to the next one, which is about 15 and a half miles total. Um... If we get tired before then, we'll just set up camp. And if we make it there and we want to stay in a shelter, we got options. So that's the game plan today. Um, we'll see how it goes. And uh, hopefully we can get some miles in. So when we see something neat, I'll let you know. This came out of the woods down there. You can see the path. Hit this bald area. I should say open area. Pretty cool. And it looks like it goes for a bit until we hit the woods over there. Right now, when I took that uh, little video of the field, 4,573 feet. And uh, we're still going up. Next mountain is Big Butt. Yep, Big Butt. Not too many views up here, but uh, still some nice paths through the woods, through the laurel and stuff. So I like Big Butt and I cannot lie. A little windy today other than that can't complain a little chilly nothing we can't do without shorts yet but uh just have my light hoodie and uh my rain jacket on wait for 0.7 to come up here and then it's down the trail right off a big butt And then it opens up again. <sighs> All right, let's see where this takes us. So the trail just as soon as we came out of the woods back there, did an abrupt turn and 
stuck us right back in the woods. So this is what it's been like most of the day. Sometimes a lot sketchier, more sketchy, whatever the proper terminology is. Every time I see point sevens yellow sleep pad, I think it's a cheese head. I almost brought mine. If it wasn't so stinking heavy, I would have. All right, time to put this away. really opens up up here. Eighteen fifty to eighteen sixty three. came down off the mountain zigzagged the whole way down and to this little hollow and then it's going to be straight back up so we're just sitting here going to take a little lunch and enjoy this little flat land while we got it See the trail going here. Guess where it's leading you. Uh huh. Just hit the corner of a switchback coming down off the mountain. I didn't think we were going to hit this soon, but apparently we are. Pretty neat. path goes right through the cow pasture cool we're sitting here taking a rest on the steps and emoji the trail angel back there they're getting ready to go for a hike she hooked us up with some gatorade and chips very cool gave us some uh, she writes poetry gave us some poems to read and uh very thankful and grateful for that really really neat deal so uh 
we did get a picture with her so I will post that at the end of the at the end of the video but um, her name was emoji the trail angel good stuff really neat came at a great time Oh, this is interesting. They put the little kicker along the bottom. I struggled to get through there. I would imagine that's for cows because of the pasture. I can't get through there. But we had them for they were like that for hogs and the Smokies or was it the Smokies yeah the Smokies but uh that's where we're looking at through the trees so after we talked to Emoji, we were sitting there and she came back and says, you guys want some cookies? So she had some gingerbread cookies. And uh, another gentleman showed up. He's a section hiker, wanted to just chat and talk a little bit. And he was doing some scouting for his trips. But uh, yeah, all good stuff. Now we just got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Now we're going to see where we end up, and uh, that's where we'll stay, is where we stop. I'm sure we'll come, come into some views, because uh, we've got a lot of climbing to do yet today. Those things. That's where we're heading. But of course, we got to go down first, and way down. All right, got a feeling I'm gonna be needing my air here for breathing instead of talking. So I'll catch up with you in a while. my fat butts dragging we are on a mac daddy of a climb it's gonna go for several miles i think over four and a half i don't know if we're gonna make it we might just camp somewhere but we're gonna go for a while and see where we end up but the bright side is in the middle of this big ravine that we're in There's a waterfall over here. We're gonna go check it out. There it is. Waterfall that goes down there. Now oh, come on, you know there's a better one than that. This is what a Mac Daddy climb looks like. Crawling right up this ravine. I mean, it is up there. Found that waterfall. Here's more waterfalls. Go up and up and away. So here's the dealio. We got water after we cross that stream and this is just, I mean, you look behind me. You just go up, up. You hit another switch back up. It's like that for about 2,700 feet. And uh, we are spent. 
I don't, there's no way. There's a campsite two miles up. I don't think we could even hit that. Um, <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she's already sleeping. It's 3.30. There's no way we could make it to the top. And the freaking, the, the shelter is like 4.9. So there's, that's out of the question. And now if we get there and it's full, setting up in dark. So we're going to stealth camp. The hammock's coming out. I don't know if the tent's going up. <laughs> but uh, we're going to stealth camp. We're probably 20 yards from the trail. I don't think anybody's nuts enough to come up this thing after these hours. I mean, it's, it is steep. Ran into several people today and they're like, oh yeah, we're going for a hike. Oh yeah, which way are you going? Oh, southbound. Oh, okay, well, we're going northbound. Bang, we found out why. But anyway, it's all good. We'll hit this uh, climb in the morning. That'll wake us up. Uh, we have enough, just enough water to get by until we can get to the shelter to get water. But uh, I'm going to clear some area for my hammock. And uh, .7 is going to set up shop. And I'm going to cowboy. She's cowboy camping. Uh, she's pretty much halfway there already. So uh, I'll catch up with you when camp's set up. We're sitting at elevation 3724. Uh, we're sitting at mile 312.7. We left Jerry's cabin shelter this morning and we did 10.9 miles. Um, heck, by the time I walked down the trail, it's probably 11 miles. But um, like I said, I'll show you when camp's set up, but uh, all but 11 mile day and uh, it was tough, but uh, this this climb is just phew, took the wind right out of the sails. So uh, we'll show you when camp's set up. Barbed wire. So if you ever wonder where it came from, it grows from a tree. There's proof growing right out of the tree. Actually, it came out of that one too. We're literally on the side of a freaking mountain. Yep. Hey now. Just had a mountain house lasagna with meat sauce. Those are pretty good. That's one of my go-tos. That and the beef, the mac and cheese, the chili mac. And the beef stew is pretty good too. But uh, I tell you, I have to admit, it was nice ending the day a little bit early and get camp set up and just relax um that would have been a brutal climb we'd, st we'd have been climbing until way after dark and both our feet were killing us and there's no sense in uh pushing it just for the sake of pushing it so uh got dinner done just gonna watch the sun go down and crawl into bed and mess around with the phone a little bit. You can see that mountainside over there has still got some sun shining on it. And that's where we're climbing to. Must have hit the button for the video. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put stuff uh, away here and... I think I'm going to throw my thermal top and bottom on since I have it. Just because I only have a 20 degree. I should be fine, but I don't want to be shivering. So I'll probably be sweating. Um, put my stuff away and uh, just enjoy the last little bit of daylight. It's kind of nice just to sit and relax. Be in camp early. I know Point Seven hates it. She wishes she was still climbing that mountain. <laughs> all right we'll see you guys in the morning hope you had a good day and hope you have a good week last couple hours of sunday fun day have a good one
We are literally on the side of a mountain. There's tomorrow's work. First thing in the morning. Whew. All right, everybody. Have a good night.